No one wants it that? No. You gotta have these bad boys right here. Okay? We gotta have Mr. Caterpillar. If you're gonna be going out in the... Can you believe this? All right, so today is day one of the franchisee training. So we're just getting everything set up here. Uh, what you're gonna be seeing right now is the first, first kind of lecture of the training process where we talk about stages of growth. So you go through stage one, where you're zero to 100,000 in annual revenue, all the way up to a million plus and beyond. Uh, so hopefully this is something that's helpful for you. We'll stay for the next first couple hours and then uh, probably tomorrow you'll see more training. Thanks guys. So this is the one part of the, the weekend where we're gonna read, so I apologize, but I'll try to make it somewhat entertaining. Based upon the revenues that you're having, what issues you're gonna face, what doubts you're gonna have, what you're gonna ask me. So this is gonna answer all the questions that'll be asked. <laughs> <laughs> it basically should, but it won't. All right, so first stage of growth, zero to 100,000 revenue. This is annual revenue. So the role of the owner here is that the owner's doing everything, okay? What the business looks like is you're a one-man show, you're doing everything in the business. Usually this is operated out of a garage or a local storage facility. It seems like a hassle now, but don't make bad habits or use your head as your CRM. Stage number two, so this is 100,000 to 200,000. Role of the owner, still doing everything at this point in the field, but you have a second truck and an employee. What the business looks like is you now have 20 to 30 regular mowing customers and get cleanups to fill your schedule. You start to get two to three weeks booked out. This is when you go and get a full-time employee. This is that first person. You are a one truck, two man band, but you know that will change soon because you are getting very busy. Again, notice I got employee, then went out and bought a truck. I did not go buy trucks and then go hire people, all right? Stage number three, revenue is now between 200 and 500,000. You are like an octopus. Every tentacle is an employee, but at the end of the day, they tie back to you. You are still involved in every estimate and every sale. Leads are, are starting to flow in and you get overwhelmed with new work sometimes. You know you are, need, you are going to need systems to continue growth. You wanna speed through this phase as fast as possible. It's like the wilderness of landscapers. You either, you either grow past it or you stay below it. Next stage is revenue is 500 to a million now. Now you're like your full-time estimator. That's the role of the owner. You're beginning to work on the business instead of in it. At this point, so again, we're doing 500 to a million in revenue. Oh, at this point, a 1% increase in efficiency will result in thousands of dollars savings. So it is worth thinking about your systems and processes and refining elements of the company that may be inefficient due to the rapid growth. So let me make a quick point here. Um, in terms of being big and yet you need to be design build and go get a big caterpillar to be a big company. Let me make a few points here. Uh, first of all, name three five-star Michelin restaurants. Just name three of them to me, okay? Now name three fast food restaurants with thousands of locations all across the country. The reason why the first one you don't hardly know about is because they're very few and far between. They don't have multiple locations. They don't have thousands of locations. You talk about McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell. You, you can name off a whole plethora of fast food ones because they simplified their processes and they have systems in place to scale and grow their business. Name one design build company that's publicly traded. The only one you can name is Brightview and they do a mostly maintenance. Like the reason all of this, the reason, the reason all of this, is, I'm saying this is because it's easier to get started with maintenance. You do not need massive equipment. Yes, if you want to do paver patios and walls and big hardscaping projects, it's there for you. You can make a lot of money, but to scale that to the point where you're not hauling around equipment to your job sites, materials, selling jobs every day, and you actually have a team, you have multiple locations, that's only possible if you simplify services, you simplify your overhead, and you create systems for your team to actually succeed within, and not where you're always involved every single day of the operation. So. Congratulate people like this on their five-star Michelin restaurant. I will continue building McDonald's. So whether it be I'm talking to someone just getting started or someone that's done you know, seven figures in their long care business, these are the things I see over and over and over again at these different stages of growth. It's universal. It's like, it's, 
as, as I've worked with more and more lawn care landscaping companies, these are the issues they face, these are the questions they have. So I hope that by having that, you kind of like, okay, I'm not the only one, this is regular, this is normal to be feeling this way at this size of business, and realize that your problems and the issues and the questions and the doubts you have change as the business grows. So I hope it was helpful, maybe soothing to you if you have those, you've had those thoughts, you've had those questions, and uh, just keep going. Just keep going to the next stage, keep growing the business, making it more systems oriented, make it more efficient, make it more profitable. Thanks everyone, we'll see you, yeah, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, again, here tomorrow. Hey everyone, Mike here. If you're part of the 10% of people who actually got to the end of the video, congratulations. And also, you should definitely make sure you follow my TikTok and Instagram. Always posting there every single day, and we actually show the prices of jobs that we do in short form videos. Check it out.